welcome back to Belly Melon Farm. Today was a terrible day for shooting a video, but it was the day that Anzac was born. So we didn't want to miss capturing that. Um, so here you can see that we are just separating Lulu and Anzac from the rest of the Highland herd. And unfortunately, uh, Lulu has milk fever. So later on after we shot this, we just brought her into the yard and treated her for that. And she's doing really well now. But Anzac is such a cutie and we are so excited to have him here on the farm with us. Hey guys, Lance and I um, are out uh, with the Highland Cows today. We are getting um, a pen ready for Anzac. So um, if you didn't see our um, Instagram stories, on the 25th of April, we had um, a little Highland calf born, a male, and he uh, was born on Anzac Day. So we called him Anzac. Um, so he has been with his mum now for about three weeks, and we're going to separate them and start um, feeding Anzac on a feeder. So the reason that we are doing this is that um, they need to be friendly so that we're able to handle them. They are big animals. They've got really big pointy horns on them. So we need to make sure that they are um, calm and friendly around us. Also, Anzac is probably going to go to a new home. So we want him wherever he goes to be able to be manageable for the people yeah for wherever he um ends up going so Lance has been getting stuff out of the shed so we can um we've got a little area in there that we have calves um over spring so we are going to be putting him in there um so yeah just this is just about what we're up to today so come along with us while we um yeah while we get into it Hi guys! Hi Lulu! So this is a mum coming towards me now. Um, so she is used to being hand fed. Um, it just makes her really easy to manage. So when we got the Highland cows on the farm, um, we thought it would be the best idea. Hi Lulu! So we're just going to be really careful of your horns in case she swings those around. So I'm just going to strip back a little. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, they're really good at swinging their heads around um, with their horns. So you just need to be really careful. Um, like I was saying anyway, with um, Lulu, when she had her first baby on the farm, we decided to leave her with it. Um, and it wasn't a good idea. So um, her baby Maggie... Um, who is, so Maggie's just this one, um, here just walking up. So, so yeah, Maggie is really, um, she's a little bit wild. She is, she's settled down a lot, but she's almost two years old now. So, um, you know, we just need to be able to be around them and handle them. So yeah, for us, that's the best, um, our best option. Um, so over here in the back, the one that's making that, this here, he is Bernard. He is um, our bull. Then sitting down there is Poppy. Um, she's almost three years old. Right down the back here we have Tammy who was the first calf we've hand reared and then and yeah, this one at the front is Maggie and here you can see Anzac and then these two are just two Cherylais from the herd which um, were the kids um, pet day pets so I can see Lance is here ready to get them in so we will um, bring them all into the yard so we can um, easily separate Anzac. Come on, 
Come on, sweetie. Come on. Cool guys, so uh, we've got Anzac in the shed there now finally. Um, we've just given him some water and we're gonna just leave him to calm down and uh, hopefully settle. Um, he gave us the run around a little bit. Turns out he's pretty good at jumping gates. Um, probably since he's been on his, on Lulu um, a couple of weeks, uh, maybe three weeks I think. Um, he was obviously just a little bit wilder than when you get a newborn docile calf for separating them so uh, but it went pretty good so we're just gonna let him calm down for a day and, and then hopefully we'll we can quieten him down and we can start feeding him on milk powder um lily's back out in the paddock with the other highland cows um yeah she's doing okay she's she's yelling a little bit and stuff but um i think she'll calm down now she's back with her friends um uh, but yeah we'll keep an eye on her and um if we have any worries with her i guess we can make decisions further down the track all right guys i've just come to check on um anzac in the shed this morning He's uh, been yelling out a little bit, obviously feeling a little bit hungry, and he's calmed down a lot since yesterday. Um, still a little bit flighty, it's just um, what, what happens unfortunately with calves when you take them off their mums. Hey bud, how you going? You're going to be alright, eh? You'll get you some warm milk soon. Yeah. Um, so I just brought this um, hay and meal rack in here. I'm going to go grab him some um, hay from on the farm. I've just brought this hay and meal rack in here from the farm. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to town later this afternoon. I'm going to grab him some meal and uh, I'll head out on the motorbike and uh, grab a square bale um, of hay, give him some hay as well. Um, and down the corner, uh, where, where are we? Down here we've just got some water. We've just had it in a um, in one of these soft bucket things. So he was jumping around and getting a bit hyped up yesterday afternoon. So I thought it's something that he's not going to hurt himself on. You going alright buddy? Hey, hey Anzac. Hey, gun, dude. You're going to be all right, aren't you? We'll get you some milk soon, okay, dude? So, yeah. Um, so, we haven't fed them this morning yet. Sometimes um, when you're trying to teach calves to feed, um, it's just a little bit easier if they're a little bit hungry. So, we're going to get into that this afternoon. Mix up some milk powder and get them some nice warm milk. And uh, we'll let you know how we get on uh, with that a, little, a bit later. So that is all for today's video. Um, thanks heaps for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.